Okay, in this tutorial I want to introduce you to the calendar plugin and just the basics of how to add a simple event into the calendar. So if you haven't already done so, you want to log into your Typo3 site and you do that by putting in your URL um, forward slash Typo3. That'll load the page you see here. Next thing you want to do is put in your username and password and if you're using a password manager in Firefox like I am, it comes up automatically. Then click Login. Okay, so now that we're logged in, we want to, you need to know where your calendar um, information needs to be stored as far as events go. In my demo site, uh, the calendar has a page all its own, and then as you can see underneath, there's uh, separate pages for each of the different views of the calendar, weekday, event, and search. And then underneath that, we have an events system folder and then a calendar configuration folder. Now, if it isn't obvious to you, um, it is the events folder where we want to look at that we want to open up in order to view um, what events are there. And as you can see over here, it tells us that we need to use the list view. So we're just going to click on list on the far left. And it's going to bring up then our uh, existing set of calendar events that are in the calendar already that have already been set up in the database. If you don't see anything here um, then you will, will, what you do is you start here on create a new record and that's what we're going to do because that's going to be the, the zero point for anybody working with the calendar for the first time without any events in the database already for the plugin. So we're going to click create a new record. Okay, And that's going to load up all the different types of records or content that we can add into the database at this time. And so what we're going to look for is the calendar base section, which is the name of the plugin that we use and that I'm using here for calendaring. And then we're going to click on calendar event. Okay, so that loads our form backend form for adding events. And on the general tab, which is where you'll spend most of your time, you're going to keep the default for an event with the description. And we're going to say demo event. So this is the title. This is the main title that shows up in the calendar in the different views. And then we need to set our um, the times for our event. So in this case, we'll do the more complicated one, which will be an event that has a beginning time and an end time. So we'll go click up here. We'll select it for the day after today, the day I'm recording it. And we're going to say it's going to start at 1 o'clock. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, 1 o'clock, we need to use 24-hour time in the system because that's just the way it's been set up. And most databases work with 24-hour time rather than the whole AM, PM thing. So you need to uh, set that to 1,300 hours. The event end day will be the same day. Hopefully, your event isn't so long that people have to sleep overnight. And then we'll say the end time. We're going to make it two hours long. Then we need to select a calendar that's been configured for your system. In this case, it's the WGC Youth Calendar. And then we're just going to say, um, selecting a category for it. And we're going to set it just as a meeting um, category. And then if we come down here, we have the description of our event. And we'll say this is a demo meeting. Set it, set it for a demo meeting for everyone. This can be much longer and can contain a lot more formatting and information about your event, times, dates, um, and uh, who's involved and who should come and those kinds of things, descriptive text that goes in there. You then, I think the only other thing that you may want to do for a simple event would be to put in a location so that I could say, um, our house or the demo, actually we'll, we'll call it the demo room because we're doing, I don't know who has a demo room, I don't, but there we go, a demo room. Once that's done, we're going to save and close. And now we're going to see our calendar event table listing um, updated with a new demo event. And they're they're sorted by date, the, the most recent to the, to the ones that are further in the past as well. But of course now we want to see where this shows up. So let's go into our actual calendar. So we're going to click on the calendar icon to bring up the context menu and click show. Okay, so that loads up our calendar. 
and here we can see our demo event and if we go into our week view here we go there's our demo event for tomorrow and then if we click on our event that's going to load up our event information uh, title start date start time end time location and your description that's why I had this is why I had you put in a location because it does kind of answer the question of where is it in case it doesn't show up in our descriptive information and that, this time there's no image associated with the event so let's just flip back here to our back end so that's the basics of it if you need to edit your event you would click on the icon here click on edit that's going to load up your form here again where you can go back in change the information in case you need to and then you would just save and close again so it's adding a simple event to your event calendar using the calendar base extension in typo 3 hope this was useful and hope you enjoy some of the other videos I've done on how to use Type 3.